Okay, well, shit's really starting to heat up now. Last week, Joe Budden was talking about this, that Drake actually had a response ready to come out in the chamber, and I didn't believe it because I never believe anything that Joe Budden says. Thought about making a video on it, but it just wasn't a whole lot to really dive into. Then, uh, lo and behold, this song drops this weekend. And I thought for sure it was just another AI response thing because I've heard several of those. So I didn't want to take the time to try to break it down or listen to it. But apparently this is real. Academics is going crazy. And every tweet on my timeline is about this or Kentucky basketball. One of the two. So we're going to check this bad boy out today. We got Drake push-ups drop and give me 50 then apparently rick ross has made a song as well and we're gonna check that out tomorrow more than likely this track season is still in full effect shout out to my friends over at manscape for sponsoring my whole channel look if you think you might have sex sometime in the rather near future make sure your balls smell good when you're about to do it manscape will get you covered in that area code crypt 20 is 20 percent off and free worldwide shipping there's ball deodorant which is yes exactly what it sounds like but there's cologne boxers beard trimmers ball trimmers nail clippers literally anything you can think of on that website all of it's dope and get it for 20 percent off with my code and if you do that send me your receipt on instagram i'm following back every everybody that uses my code because this shit is copyrighted not gonna make any money from this video but okay let's dive into this apparently he's going after future kendrick metro boomin rick ross all these fucking people so let's do this drake push-ups drop and give me 50 bow all right Ooh, a lot of tension i'm feeling the tension hey could never be nobody uh. number one fan Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand uh. Pussies can't get booked outside America for now I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan mm. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on Backstage in my city, it was friend zone You won't never take no chain off of us How the fuck you be stepping with a size 7 man zone? <laughs> Just the part with the bike Okay, nigga. okay Obviously in reference to Kendrick's album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers How are you big stepping with a size 7 men zone? Making fun of his height and his small feet A size 7 is basically a child shoe. I wear a size 12. I can't imagine a shoe being five inches shorter than my shoe. That's crazy. But yeah, Drake is immediately at the gate, big bro, and all these guys. I had to give you your first number one. I think he's talking about future right there. And he's saying, like, I'm big worldwide. I get booked in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. You don't get booked out of the US for nothing because nobody fucking knows you outside of the US. And then we've also got this line right here about how backstage it was friendly. You didn't do shit to me, but you talk all this stuff about how you're gonna take somebody's chain and all this shit. Two different people. But yeah, I love this flow and the pianos coming in right there. Those are some sick pianos in the background. Okay, very very solid start to a great sounding diss track so far. This the part with the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. This top told uh. you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool, your uh. last one brick, you really not on shit. They uh. make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Uh. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better <laughs> do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it with Oh me. my god. Really need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Oh man. Just the way he changed his voice right there was very nice. Going at the angle of him kind of doing these pop verses because he did the Bad Blood for Taylor Swift. He actually redid his verse for the Taylor's version of the album rather recently. He also did the verse for Maroon 5. So he's like, you can't be this hardcore rapping dude and do all these pop verses for these people. Your last one, Brick, talking about Kendrick's last album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, because it didn't really land with the public like his other albums have. And then saying that people are making excuses because they hate to see that Drake is winning. You're like, oh, you don't really understand it. It's too conceptual for you. That's why you don't like the album. Then we got this little split scheme right here talking about his label contract i guess saying that he's not really making as much money as he could be because the splits that he's doing is like spreading his legs open i guess it's kind of a gay bar and then the line top say drop you better drop and give him 50 top being top dog entertainment kendrick's last label saying that whatever the hell they want to do they have him by the balls because they have his whole catalog so you better drop and give him 50 if they tell you to okay we got some cool angles going on so far <laughs> Pip squeak pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down, Travis ah. got you wiped down, Savage got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. Ah. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big <laughs> difference between Mike then and Mike now. Oh my god, <laughs> just to have a talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Nice little turn on a short joke. He's got a couple short jokes that he said already, like pipsqueak pipe down the size 7 shoe. He had to hike down just to talk to him. <laughs> that is just funny. But yeah, I've heard this bar before. You're in the scope right now, Interscope Records, Interscope. And then he had Aftermath right there, which is a part of Interscope Records. Nice little record scheme going on there. But saying that is better than him, Travis Scott's better than him, 21 Savage is better than him, that they deserve to be in the top three rather than Kendrick. I don't know about that, but it's just downplaying somebody, which is what you gotta do in diss tracks. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 v1 nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. Oh. Love in a city that you find nigga. Metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm the sixth guy. I'm a front runner. Y'all nigga manager was 
Metro's <laughs> little blunt. Oh man, catching strays like crazy. I love he's just like Metro. What? Why are you just shut up? And make drums. Why are you even involving yourself in this? Just shut up. That was hilarious. So yeah, big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What's a prince to a king? He a son. This is obviously referencing the whole that Drake is calling himself Michael Jackson and Kendrick's calling himself Prince. Michael Jackson was the king of pop. He's saying that he's the king of rap. A prince is literally the king's son. Nice little flip right there. Then the whole 20v1 because like I said, he's going after Future, Kendrick, Metro Boomin. He's going after Rick Ross. Like all these different people are going at him at the same time. Gotta be kind of flattering. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the sixth guy. I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Mm. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Ugh. Cash flowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Oh, man. Like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Oh, my God. Tripping Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chip in there. Rolling loud stage, I would turn. That was slick as hell. Shit will probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Oh. Kissing kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass. Better fuck it. Oh, a little whisper. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Uh. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take Damn, dude, I don't, I don't want to stop it. He was really going off right there. I love that little whisper that he does right there. He did that in the first person shooter too. But yeah, we got this whole little scheme right here saying that he's spending money on dudes like he would be for a woman, like he's trying to fuck them. Like he's buying them jets, cars, chains, like he's doing all this stuff to try to impress them like he would with the female that he's trying to have sex with. And then this whole little wicked, wicked, wicked thing. I did see that on Twitter where it's kind of making fun of Future in a song that he had. Admittedly, that is kind of where I get out of the loop of everything because I'm not really aware of Future's catalog. Like, I don't know who Chubbs is. Like, there's going to be some stuff like that that I don't know because I'm not as familiar with this part of the scene. But I do like this little line about him saying that they claim that they're from the 6th, the area that Drake is from, and saying that when they got rich, they had to run from the area. Like, they were never actually from the area. They're scared of it. And they finally got some money to get away and they bounced and don't even look back. Now, I do know about this line right here, which is pretty dope. Shit will probably change if your BM start to kiss and tell. BM standing for baby mama. And kiss and tell is a song that Sierra made. And Sierra and Future were together. I don't know if they ever got married, but I know they were together because I'm a big football fan and I know that Russell Wilson has to raise basically Future's kid. But Sierra had the song Kiss and Tell, the double entendre right there. And then Drake saying that he'll rock every single chain that he owns and put it on his body the next time he's around them just to show that they will not do shit. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a cuffle like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Ah. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. <laughs> Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, oh, that's the Rick the Ross shots. Be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. <laughs> this for all the top dogs dropping, give me 50 drops. Ah. Damn. In that fucking song, y'all Damn, so I offer all the top dogs, top dog entertainment, saying that everybody on that label drop and give him 50. Like, he is the head honcho. But yeah, here's the shots at Rick Ross saying that every song that he ever had that made it on the charts was because of Drake. So spend the money that you got from his Drake stuff and just get out of his face. Leave him alone. And then we even got a little John Morant shot right here. No idea where the fucking beef came from there. I think it was rumored that Drake, like, slept with his ex-girlfriend or something like that. But saying that the heartbroken Twitter stuff is for bitches. So that's definitely in reference to that. In that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit been mm. brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, Ooh. he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see if top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You oh my god. So this is not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, wow. I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma <laughs> let you niggas. Work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50. All you fuck niggas. Damn, dude, up. he's fucking pissed. <laughs> We got a little beat switch. Oh, this yeah. is the end. Okay, hold on. I want to talk about some other stuff. But yeah, him saying the like that verse was not the start of the beef. It's been brewing for a long ass time. And then he even addresses the whole J. Cole situation, apologizing for seven minute drill. And he's saying that dot shit was weak as fuck. Is he saying that J. Cole apologizing was weak as fuck? But he says that dot shit, as in K. Dot, was weak as fuck. So talking about maybe some of the albums that J. Cole said were weak. So maybe he's saying like, despite J. Cole not actually thinking that, he was right in to say those albums sucked ass. Champagne tripping. He's not fucking easing up. Drake is champagne poppy on Instagram. So 
So he's saying he's not easing up. Then we got some bars about TDE potentially wanting to make peace with Drake. He's like, nah, fuck that. You're on your own if you want to speak to me. Not your label, just you. Saying he rolled deep to the beef because it's the 20v1 and it's not deep enough. You're going to need another 20, probably another 100 guys to come at me to help take me down. And then again, just flexing like number wise, money wise, fan wise, you're never going to catch up to me. And then even saying that the money that Kendrick makes for a show is just a fee to put on the merch sales for Drake. Like it doesn't even come close to the money that Drake has. But yeah, let me see what this little beat switch is about here. What five five you smoking on Kendrick? <laughs> <laughs> smoking on top fives. singing a little bit trying to keep it PG. okay maybe is that like a little snippet of the next one that might happen is he gonna go back to back again i don't fucking know but all right that was push-ups and man drake is rapping rap i love when he raps like that dude just needs to be pissed off more but yeah that was absolutely more than sufficient enough of a response to the like that verse from kendrick and i'm already hearing that kendrick has something that he's got ready to drop so this could just be going back and forth like crazy and you already know that i'm here for it subscribe and stick around but i want to know your guys' thoughts on this i don't really know the public consensus on how they feel about this i think it was fucking awesome Awesome. Again, nothing too crazy personal, I don't feel like. Metro Boomin probably caught the funniest bar of all of them. But yeah, we'll see what happens out of this. I will see you guys tomorrow in the Rick Ross diss, apparently. And then I might even make another video kind of diving into all this beef and learning with you guys. Because I really want to be able to catch a lot more bars than I'm catching right now. I'm a student of the game. But okay, that's it. Love you guys. This is my music if you want to check me out. Peace out. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I catch a hater by his toe and hang him high up in the sky until he cries to stop the jokes. I be catching bullets like Houdini, but I'll never fold because I be getting stronger with every shot like a Cortisone. People want to talk like I'm a fictional person Like I will pull up to your crib like a shepherd and get to hurting What the fuck did you say? You didn't mean it? Okay, there for a second I thought you really wanted to dig your grave So just turn on the dial cause you ain't really one static Ducking and diving behind the screens like you pitching bad at practice